this week's episode, Rangers killed in Virunga, Prince William takes a controversial stance on hunting, the Louisiana black bear bounces back, and a runaway reptile makes for a nasty surprise. Starting off with tragic news from the DRC's Virunga National Park, where anti-government rebels have killed two rangers. The region is home to an impressive array of species, but is plagued by political instability. The death toll in the park now sits over 150 in the last decade alone. And Prince William is in hot water with conservationists after comments made in an interview with ITV News. The Duke of Cambridge claimed that trophy hunting animals could be justified in certain circumstances and could even have a positive impact on efforts to save endangered species. Do you agree with the Prince's controversial stance on commercial hunting? Off to the US where the teddy bear is back. The Louisiana black bear, inspiration for the beloved soft toy, is finally coming off the federal list of endangered and threatened wildlife. The bear's numbers have increased from just 150 in 1992 to over 500. The Indonesian government has just announced plans to convert a former gold mining site into a sanctuary for the Sumatran rhino. Building is set to start this year and will cost an estimated $2 million. This comes after scientists identified 15 of the critically endangered creatures in the area. Staying in Asia where helmeted hornbills are in trouble. The rare birds are being slaughtered for their so-called red ivory, the wedge of keratin above their beaks. 6,000 of the critically endangered creatures are being slaughtered each year. On to Zimbabwe with some croc hunting lions. The big cats were spotted feasting on the reptile on the shores of Lake Kariba and it's not an isolated incident. It seems the pair of lions have recently killed as many as three crocodiles. And a plan to relocate over a thousand endangered tortoises has conservationists up in arms. The US Marine Corps want to make way for a new training ground by moving desert tortoises away from their habitat in California. But there are concerns that the process could result in hundreds of tortoise deaths. Rounding off with this slithering surprise. A pair of Australian snake catchers got quite a shock when one of their rescues escaped. Amazingly, everyone remained calm and the runaway reptile was successfully retrieved. That's it for today. We want to hear your opinions on these nature news stories. Tell us what you think in the comments below. 